Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Why Everyone Plays. It's a series where I talk about champions in League of Legends that often see really high pick rates in the pro competitive scene and or solo queue, especially for the span of the past few years. And for today, let's talk about Lux's boyfriend, Ezreal. Is that a thing, by the way? Are they actually dating? Is that canon or something? I don't know. I remember that one quote Lux has about whether or not she and Ezreal are supposed to be an item together, but I, I, I mean, it might just be political banter. Right, moving on. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I'd like to say welcome, and to also let you know that I have a sister series to Why Everyone Plays called Why No One Plays, which is basically the opposite where I talk about unpopular champions in League, while in this one I talk about popular ones. Just to make sure I don't give you the wrong idea though, the champions I cover in Why Everyone Plays are not always strong champions. Some may be really powerful and some may not. So please do not misconstrue this video as me saying this champion is crazy sleeper OP or anything. It's just to discuss aspects of the champion's design that led them to being a very popular pick among players in solo queue or competitive scene. So if you enjoy these types of videos, be sure to check out my other ones, and at the end of this video, if you found it worth your time, a rating would be much appreciated, and consider subscribing for more leaked videos in the future. Anyways, we're going to be breaking down why I believe Ezreal to be a consistently high pick rate champion. Aside from, you know, looking like your classic anime boy isekai protagonist, Ezreal is indubitably the most popular champion in League of Legends. He has the highest pick rate, he has the most amount of skins in the game, beating out even Lux and Misfortune, who seem to get a skin like every 5 seconds. He's the most picked champion when autofilled AD carry, and he has also probably the highest number of gimmicky builds, such as Rune Glaive, Double Tier Ezreal, Jungle Ezreal back in season, oh my god. <laughs> I hate this guy so much. But you know, by literal popular demand I'm making a video on him. AD carries have seen a lot of contention over the years. Usually bot lane metas are structured around 2-3 marksmen who become popular at a time. For example, we had Jin and Varus at one point, then there was Caitlyn and Zaya, Misfortune, Ophelio, Senna, Ash, and stuff like that. Riot tends to lean towards making any two champions tier 0. But since around Season 7, we've been seeing a growing number of other champions fielded in the bot lane, such as Swain, Cassiopeia, Yasuo, Karthus, Ziggs, even Heimerdinger for a time. Yet, no matter what meta was popular or what strategy was employed at what time, Ezreal would constantly be everyone's go-to, like that Kraft Mac and Cheese or Cup Ramen you whip out whenever you want a little taste of home. And unlike most other marksmen who scale through auto attacks and crit rate, Ezreal is not just the only non-crit marksman, but also the only pure spellcaster. Some may argue Corky and Lucian to be casters of the same caliber, but both of them still rely purely on auto attacks to be the majority of their damage, hence why they now go full crit after especially Ghostblade and Black Cleaver getting nerfed hard for Lucian and Misfortune. Ordinarily, a very niche playstyle would be cost for low play rate, as we've seen from the majority of our unpopular champions. So, why exactly does Ezreal see so much success time and time again? The main reason is not actually the one everyone thinks. See, a lot of players would automatically jump to the point that he's a very safe and easy champion to play. That is a valid point, one I'll go into later, but to me, the real determining factor is that while most other marksmen have proactive response kits, Ezreal may very well be the only marksman in the game with a primarily reactive response kit. Proactivity is the mantra of League of Legends. We always laud teams and players for aggression, for starting fights, for getting things done on the map instead of waiting for them to happen. That's because in pro play, being the carry also means you have the backing of four other members on your team for most if not all decisions whether good or bad. Solo queue, however, is sort of a mixture of too many cooks in the kitchen and a group project where no one really has any idea what they're doing. No doubt you've had situations where half the team had this idea, while the other half of the team had that idea, and people would fight over which shot call to follow, and then now no one really wants to do anything. It's because of this that Ezreal makes for a very comfortable pick. He doesn't need to do anything, he can just wait for stuff to happen, then simply follow along with it without worrying whether or not it's a good or bad play, since he's a non-committal champion by nature. Ezreal carries a 550 attack range, which is the standard for Marksman, but all of his abilities have an effective range of over 1200 units. That puts him on par with artillery mages such as Zerath, Velkos, and Ziggs. Mystic Shot and Essence Flux are both 1200, with Arcane Shift having a 750 attack radius, but the Blink itself is 475, which combined makes her 1225. And of course, True Shot Barrage is global. Not only that, but contrary to other poke champions who have a very narrow spread in their abilities, all of Ezreal's attacks are much wider, which makes them easier to land. So while we're on the subject of abilities, let's talk about Arcane Shift just a little bit, because you know how general perception of Ezreal is that he's a very safe pick, right? Arcane Shift has a teleport distance of 475. Funnily enough, some other ADs like Samira have a dash range of 600, or someone like Lucian or Vayne, who may have slightly shorter dash ranges but can span them a lot more frequently. Yet they're usually thought of as being much more dangerous to go into, because while in theory they're more mobile than Ezreal, they don't have the same spacing that he does. 
That bonus range is what allows players sort of a buffer to let them contribute towards the team play without necessarily exposing themselves too much. And that sense of security works best not in lane, where everyone believes he's a safe champ because he can farm and poke from afar, but actually in the mid game where his high range and general self-sufficiency make front to back team fights pretty difficult for the enemy team since there's a much wider gap between the front and back line. The other marksmen don't really have that luxury, most of the time if they want to go in to finish the job they either have to get it done or they're never going to come out alive. There's almost no penalty for missing a Q aside from it taking just slightly longer for your next one to come off cooldown, so he doesn't need to put himself in risky situations to be that effective. Since your modus operandi as Ezreal is reactive, you generally need less situational awareness than someone like Kai'Sa or Aphelios who need to pay attention to way more things at a time. That brings us to reason number 2. Ezreal is a very autopilot friendly champion which is ironic given that he's an extremely difficult champion to master due to being pretty much all skill shots. AD carries don't win any medals when it comes to being user friendly since no other role requires you to attack move and kite as a normal thing. Before mages came down to the bot lane and Jin was added to the game, Ezreal was the only marksman that did not require you to have ridiculously high APM. So he has a really tall skill ceiling but a very low skill floor, hence why he's almost never had a win rate above 50%. Now let me clarify that I'm not necessarily saying aggressive Ezreals don't exist because no, they, they most certainly do, is <laughs> that he doesn't have to go aggressive. He can simply shadow his teammates and provide follow up damage, not to mention he can safely poke anyone who doesn't have like 20 dashes. Which, you know, unfortunately that number is getting higher and higher with every new champion release or rework. But since Mystic Shot and Essence Flux deal so much damage, enemy champions need to be very careful with engaging on him because they'll most likely face tank his initial wall of skill shots, especially if playing melee champions with very frontal engages like Renekton, Vi, Rek'Sai, Darius, Leona, Nautilus and such. Not only that, but they also have to account for his arcane ship. So champions who don't have a means of follow up engage may be discouraged from going in since they don't have enough in the tank to keep up their pursuit especially while they're being hammered down by Qs. Once again, because he's a reactive champion, there's no reason for him to use his blink aggressively unless he's already winning the fight. So the ideal scenario for Ezreal is a stalemate, where nothing is happening except the Ezreal spamming Mystic Shot over and over again. And if you ever played Ezreal in a game that went past 25 minutes where your WQ combo breaks half of the enemy Squishy's health, it's a devilishly satisfying feeling. Almost every AD carry main knows how to play Ezreal to some degree because he's sort of that champion you can pick up whenever you feel like playing League of Legends without giving yourself a stroke from watching your inting support ruin your lane. Nah, I'm just kidding, it's always the AD carry's fault, am I right? Alright, moving on. The last one and finally the one everyone wants me to get to by now is that he's safe and easy to play. There's nothing too convoluted about Ezreal. Ready, aim, and fire, that's about it. Sure, by nature, since he's almost all skill shots, the difference between a good Ezreal and a bad one is as wide as Tyler one's head. But in essence, his kit doesn't have any real hoops to jump through aside from being able to aim and read opponents' movements. He's not like Aphelios, Samira, Kai'Sa, or Zaya who need high precision, good split second decision making outside of universal expectation. Not only that, but his itemization options are among the most flexible of any marksman in the game, which unintentionally makes him a meta resilient champion. AD carry has been a controversial role in the game when it comes to balancing, especially their items. Please refer to twin items! I can't play the Game anymore! I'm begging you! It seems like every year there's some huge overhaul to crit items and of course the meta shifts I talked about at the beginning of the video where two champions were tier 0 at a time. Even when the meta favored high crit scaling champions like Caitlyn and Jinx or high DPS like Vayne and Kai'Sa, Ezreal was still a high pick rate because he's such a Swiss army knife of an ADC. So despite being the most inconsistent marksman in the game in the sense that Ezreal's are either 1v9 machines or completely useless, Ezreal himself is a very consistent champion. His only contingency is landing his skill shots, which is a case criteria of the player, not the champion. He may not be as self-sufficient as the likes of Lucian, which is why you never see one going top or mid, but again, he gives you that sense of security to not have to worry so much about the minor details like whether or not the enemy champion has X stacks of passive or whether or not you can get hit by three feathers. You just throw skill shots and watch your positioning. I know I just spent a lot of time praising Ezreal, but remember, I am by no means implying he's a super OP broken champion. Ezreal has a lot of flaws outside of just being a very hard champion to master. The first is that he's extremely vulnerable to counter picks from the enemy team, not just in lane. Since his DPS comes in the form of abilities and not auto attacks, he won't be able to deal as much damage to bulky or tanky champions like Scion, Orin, Sejuani, Zac. those guys will take almost no damage from him. Additionally, and I alluded to this earlier, more and more champions are coming into the game with increasingly high mobility or tempo which can make things really tough for Ezreal whose only form of escape is Arcane Shift. 
And of course, the increase in cooldown reduction items, as well as damage, Ezreal can get annihilated from two screens away by a Kha'Zix, Rengar, Zed, Camille, LeBlanc, etc. while being unable to do just about anything. Modern AD carries like Samira, Kai'Sa, and Zaya have much better defensive tools which make them generally safer picks against super fast or super roaming assassins. Those flaws aren't exhaustive, he's got a lot more, but every marksman has their strengths and weaknesses. Generally though, Ezreal's pros outweigh his cons among the League of Legends community. And whether or not he's super strong or super weak at any point in time, you can't argue that he's probably the most desirable choice when autofilled or autopiloting. Okay, I think that wraps up everything I have to say about our favorite blonde haired anime boy. What do you guys think? No doubt there are a ton of Ezreal mains out there and I'd love to know whether you agree or disagree with my points, or if you think there's something else about Ezreal that makes him really popular, you know, just aside from his relationship with Lux. As for the rest of you, let me know in the comments section below what opinions you have on him, either positive or negative, but guys, if you'd like to support the channel, best way you can do so is like the video, comment down below, subscribe for future videos. Also, if you feel like it, check out my other discussion videos. Once again, I have two series on this channel called Why No One Plays and the other Why Everyone Plays, and I'd appreciate it if you could check them all out. Lastly, if you feel generous enough, please consider donating to my channel either through PayPal or Patreon. Links are all down below, but for now, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon for the next video. Take care.